you've seen how you can speed up the process of matching components by using iMates. However, you can automate this process even further by using matching iMates. When you place a component with a standard iMate, it is placed at the first available iMate of that type. A component iMate can also have a list of preferred matches. When you place a component with a matching list in an assembly, it looks for iMates with names in the list before it is placed on other iMates. In this lesson, we'll learn how to add a matching list to an iMate and how the matching list behaves in an assembly. This assembly has a panel with five pegs, and each peg has an insert iMate. When I expand the folder, you can see that four of the iMates have names, and there is also an iMate between the middle left and middle right with the default insert name. I have a half dome knob with an insert iMate. When I add the part to the assembly, each time I click, it places a knob on the next iMate. While I can place the knobs quickly, sometimes you want a component to be placed in a certain order. The round knob also has an insert iMate, but I'll edit it to add matching iMate names. Next, I'll click on the More button to display the options. I'll click on the Matching tab so I can create a list of matching iMates. There are four buttons on the side, Add Name to List, Delete Selected Name, Move Selected Name up in Priority, and Move Selected Name down in Priority. I'll click the Add Name button and enter Left. Then, I'll add Middle Left and then Right. For this lesson, I am skipping middle right. I'll click on left and then click the Move Down button until it's at the bottom of the list. I'll click OK and then save the part. I'll place the round knob in the assembly, making sure the Use iMates option is selected. The first instance of the knob is placed at middle left, which is the first constraint on the knob's iMate list. When I see the preview, I can click in the window to accept that iMate and then the preview is at the next name on list. As you can see, it follows the list order, first middle left, then right, and then left. Once all of the matching names are used, it follows the order of the iMates on the pegs. Once all of the iMates are used, the preview is attached to the cursor, just like placing a standard part. 